I'm going to see about the uh, safety impacting devices. That is what the unit number five in the course, intelligent vehicle technology. So anti-lock braking system. That is what the topic today we are going to see under safety impacting devices. So first of all, we should know about the anatomy of an automobile. So you can see here, so uh, the brake unit is mounted on all the wheels. Uh, you can see the diagram is indicating the wheels. Uh, this is the front axle and this one is the rear axle. This is the engine, clutch, gearbox. And the, from the gearbox, it is through the propeller shaft to the differential unit. So this is anatomy for a two-wheel drive vehicle. So first of all, uh, the basics you have to know uh, how braking is uh, applied, how braking is done inside the vehicle. So this is what the system here, you can see here, uh, the force is applied uh, by means of the foot. Uh, the foot lever, uh, foot pedal is connected through the lever to the piston cylinder arrangement. So this arrangement pumps the uh, pressure to the uh, brake cylinder and from the cylinder it engages the caliper. You can see that is indicated on the green color. So braking is very much important in vehicle in order to reduce the uh, stopping distance of the vehicle uh, at the desired uh, place. So you can see here, this is a normal stopping distance and uh, when compared with the normal stopping in rain, it is 50 percentage higher. So that means the stopping distance is increased. As well as if you see on the uh, snow surface, uh, the, uh, twice the normal, that is what the uh, stopping distance. And whereas in the icy surface, three times the normal distance. So what is ABS? ABS is the abbreviation of anti-lock braking system. It is otherwise called as anti-skid braking system. So this uh, system uh, is used to apply the brake as well as uh, release the brake pressure inside the vehicles. So here braking, uh, what happens inside the vehicle is uh, while you apply brake suddenly what happens is the wheel stops but the motion of the vehicle is not come to rest. So that is why uh, we uh, are uh, unable to control the direction of the vehicle and uh, the vehicle may change the direction and uh, there may be a chance of accidents. So this uh, happens because the wheel uh, and the sudden action of the mass and the motion, the vehicle wheel only stops, but the vehicle is not able to control. So the steering gets locked and there is no desired direction of uh, control. So here the ABS system uh, is having uh, sensors mounted on the wheels, which, uh, which detects the sensor, uh, detects the position of the wheel, whether it is in rotary or it is in the stationary portion. Uh, so the wheel lock is detected and it uh, sends the signal to the EC. So before uh, into the system, uh, we should know the requirement of ABS. In olden days, uh, the runway of the uh, flight uh, is uh, say in kilometers. So there is that the uh, flight uh, needs, uh, aeroplane needs more distance to stop the vehicle. So that is why this ABS uh, came into picture and uh, uh, during rainy season and all, the flight uh, stopping is not accurate. So that is why the ABS is uh, invented and it is originated from the flight initially. So anti-lock braking system works by making sure that wheels roll out without slipping. Anti -lock, a locked wheel uh, offers less braking force than a decelerating rolling wheel. The locked wheel also produces little lateral force preventing steering control. So the ABS system monitors wheel lockup and modulate the brake pressure to provide controlled braking under most circumstances. So wheel lock, uh, wheel locking can be prevented by applying the brake and uh, releasing the brake pressure uh, for a period of 18 times per second, holding pressure and releasing pressure. So this is a system where the dotted line indicate the electrical circuit and the uh, continuous line indicate the hydraulic circuit. So the brake system is coupled with the ECU which is controlled by means of the uh, signals given by the sensor. So according to the types, uh, there are four channel, uh, four sensor ABS, three channel, uh, three sensor ABS, and one channel, one sensor ABS. So this is the layout of the uh, ABS components. You can see here that is the uh, ABS warning light, sensors, wheel speed sensor, rear sensor, control relay, 
ABS actuator or some of the components of the system. So wheel speed sensor, uh, the wheel speed sensor you can see here, uh, the wheels uh, are uh, having a toothed structure, uh, the toothed structure when come into contact with the tip of the sensor, it generates pulse. So according to this, the ECU determines that the vehicle is in motion or vehicle, the wheel is in motion or the wheel is not in motion. So this is how the wheel, wheel speed sensor functions. It is uh, a Hall effect sensor. So there are three actuation. One is pressure hold, pressure reduction and pressure release. So there are uh, two concepts. One is oversteer and the second one is understeer. Both can be controlled by means of ABS. Oversteer is that the vehicle turns in advance to the desired direction. And understeer is that the vehicle is not able to steer in the desired direction and goes out of the path. So the advantage is uh, enabled uh, enhanced braking action, vehicle steerability, vehicle stability and reduced stopping distance. So you cannot uh, pump the uh, brake pedal for number of times uh, if the system is equipped with the ABS. So I hope this lecture uh, helps you to understand the function of ABS and we will meet in the next